Yeah. Is that your dad, by the way? This is a first time emailer. I don't know who this is. Okay. Interesting. Okay. The Feeney Express. Is this somebody we might have to suspend? I don't know. Somebody trying to say that. uh, We'll see what the question is here. The subject is main roster at NXT. Hi, guys. First time, long time, first time, long time here. My questions for all you, including the best podcast producer around who Conrad Thompson only wishes he could be. I don't know about that. The question is, what are your thoughts on WWE's the main roster guys in NXT, such as a Judgment Day? Personally, I think that gives the episodes a more major league feel, such as when Ziggler or Balor were NXT champion. I like the little backstage run-ins between the main roster and the developmental guys. Like when my boy Dirty Dom was wished good luck by Tony Marinara, I mean Tony D'Angelo. That's what I think. What are your guys' thoughts? From the conductor of the Feeney Express. Choo-choo! <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> the conductor of the Feeney Express. Choo choo. You don't, you don't like oh that, Conan? God. No, I don't. I, don't. <laughs> okay. um, I like the interaction. Bro, the, the, it's good for the show. The numbers are up on the show. You know, that that show is doing better than Rampage and, and Collision. You know? So it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's, it, that's a good decision. Good. Remember when, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Nick Khan had mentioned in one one of these calls that he thought that the NXT could be a, a, a successful standalone brand. And if they use some of the main roster guys, they absolutely can. And they're already outdrawing Rampage, Rampage and Nitro and, uh, and Collision. So what, what do you think? Well, let me tell you, uh, Tuesday, I was very blazed. I was definitely in Iran boarding Turkmenistan. And I watched NXT mostly because I wanted to see Dom. And, bro, the show was good. And I remember, like, a couple years ago, they were doing the with the Japanese girl with the j- pajamas sitting on top of the locker. That made no sense. And, all, you know, just really green workers. And it was really terrible compared to what we were doing before, you know, when Seth Rollins was there and all those great, you know, everybody was over there. And they were just having great matches and great storylines. And we were loving it. And then they and now I watched it on Tuesday and it was good. It was a good show. Like every show is good now, you know. Right. Not they're not all great, but they're watchable, which Raw and NXT wasn't for a long time. And bro, it just looks major league. And I go back to what I said when it first happened. I said the reason NXT is not going to beat AEW is you're not bringing enough stars or big enough stars on the show. And now they're doing it, and those are the results. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 